Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will continue building our project, this project right here. The main goal of this project is for us to fetch data from an external API, this API right here, news API, and then render the data on the page as we can see quite simple so we get like these are like real news articles from BBC and then I get like a title I mean each article gets a title an image a description so the, the content of the article and then the date okay um, and when you I don't know, select any uh, news, any article, for example, this one. Uh, when you hover, of course, you see this basic effect to tell you where you are at, but this is simple. But the point is you can just click and you can read this specific article inside BBC website. Okay, so this is real information that we are fetching from the API. Okay, it's that simple. The website is responsive, of course, and that's it pretty much. The main goal, as I said, is to fetch the data and render it. That's the main goal. Okay, this uh, video and the following ones are part of this playlist right here that I last, uh, that, that was updated on May 6th okay so the second video was created in early May okay so the first video here you will see just a project demo you can watch it if you want to if not it's not that important but this one will show you how to create the dot uh, env.local file which is quite important for sensitive data like your API key and I also explain you how to get your own API key so go ahead and watch this video it's worth it's worth it okay um, this is what we have so far which is pretty much nothing of course so you should start by watching at least this video then come back to this one and so on okay so I'm gonna close this and I'm going to navigate to the correct endpoint this is just news API landing page the home page I mean and um, of course you need to get your own API key after that just go to get started go to top headlines and in this project we are using this one right here top headlines from BBC News and we have this articles array that contains several objects okay but we only want some information inside the first object okay so as I showed you we have the title we have the the author we have the description we have the URL which is the link to the actual article on BBC website we have the URL to image and I need to point out that sometimes this breaks okay not so much for this uh, endpoint in particular but sometimes uh, for a reason that I don't really know for sure it breaks and I kind of created a way around it that should work and then we are also using this information, this key pair value. So this is the key published at, and the value is this string, which is the date format in a funny format, not that readable, not so readable in my opinion. So all I'm doing is to use a bit of custom JavaScript to extract just the month and the year, as we can see right here at the bottom okay so that's what I'm doing 
okay and then by by definition uh, the author is BBC News but if for any reason the API does not um, send you that information if we do not have that information we'll handle that by saying author not found with a tiny bit of custom code okay so yeah this is what we have so I already explained you what to do first so let's move on and now I think the first thing that we need to do is to create our um, TypeScript interface to 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 tell which uh, keys that we want to render inside our project. So let's start right there. As we can see, and I'm gonna do something, so not like this. I'm gonna leave this side by side, I believe. So for the moment, I'm just gonna put it like this. Okay, and I'm gonna need to navigate back to that endpoint, so get started. And I need to go to top headlines, I believe. Oh, there you go, this one, right here. Top headlines from BBC News. And this is the actual endpoint that we need to use in our project, and that's what I'm doing. But of course, this bit needs to be replaced um, uh, needs to be replaced with the API key, our very own API key, and we will use the um, .env .local file to handle that sensitive data in a better way. Okay. Um, so this is what we have. So let's go. I have created already a models folder, which is empty inside my news directory. Okay. Then I have a models folder and inside this models folder, I'm going to create a file TypeScript file that I will be calling individual individual article format dot ts doesn't have to be tsx just ts is enough um i'm just gonna close this for the moment okay inside this file all i have to do is to create my typescript interface okay by uh, picking like these keys to use inside our project so let's let's start by doing that so Okay, inside I, I need, as I said, to pick the keys that I need. And this one is a good one. So I need author, okay, and, okay, but not like that, of course, sorry, author, and this one is going to be a string. Okay, and we see it right here. There's a string, right? Okay, next one title, and this one is going to be a string as well. The next one description, description is going to be a string, URL, and this. 
and this URL is the uh, articles URL that when we click on that card takes us to the article so if I click on this one about this subject I click anywhere on this card and I open on a new tab the this specific article and that's what we are doing okay so this is the URL also a string they are uh, they, they are actually all strings to be honest and then you have the URL to image this one is tricky to image let me see your URL to image it's going to be a string and this is um, this one that takes us to the specific image whatever image it is okay but the problem is, oops, the problem is that sometimes, the problem is that sometimes for, for uh, any reason, the image does not, does not get displayed. Okay. And for that, if that happens, uh, we will try to handle that by rendering a different image which is like a standard image like this one okay if the article's image for any reason is not getting fetched and we do not have access to it uh, we we do not want to use it because uh, if we if if we fetch it but the image for some reason is not uh, good the the app will throw an error and you will not be able to render any content on the page so you need to fix that okay and i had that problem and then i realized by removing that key my app would work normally again so i tried to find a way around it and if the image is not there and i'm trying to uh, test that if uh, I'm trying to check that if the image is coming from a HTTPS a source and if that's the case, great. If not, I will be rendering this image instead. Okay, we'll see that in action later on, so just to mention. And then, uh, just to make sure, um, and the thing is, because the image is tricky, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add the question mark here. Okay. This makes it more flexible. Um, so I'm then going to type my last key. Uh, that's the news API. News API. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. I lost. I closed it. So top headlines okay this is what I wanted and now I need to grab the publish it at okay publish it at this is also a string but the thing is we do not want to render this string as it is so I will be extracting the month and the year and that's what I will be rendering on the page okay this is our interface for what each individual article will contain so every single article will need an author a title a description a URL to open the article on the specific website in this case BBC website and then we need the image and the date information so now we need to handle the response from the news api okay so i'm gonna say i'm just gonna add a comment here say handle the response from the news i mean uh, yeah, this might possibly confuse you, so 
Oh, let, let's just forget that. I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna export interface. This is just the syntax, and I'm gonna call API response. I don't know if that comment was going to confuse you or not, but I decided to re remove it anyways. And then what we want to access to is this array, the articles array. Okay. So I'm going to say articles. And what do I want? I want all of this. And I want this in an array format. Okay. So this is what I want. And this is the base information that we need. Okay. And if you explore uh, the endpoints, and as I said, we are working with this one, but they all have the same format. So you need to pick what information you want to fetch and retrieve. Okay, I think that this is enough for this video. In the next one, we will start, um, we'll go to our route and we will start handling the fetching and processing the information uh, with the um, API key. So keep watching and don't forget, if you landed on this video, just go back to the playlist and make sure you check them correctly, one by one. Okay? See you. Bye.